getting children and young people involved in knowing about climate change is challenging, but Earth Child Institute is being innovative. Earth Child Institute's mission is to engage children and young people to a sustainable future and believes with the knowledge on how climate change is impacting the world, they will grow up leading their lives to benefit themselves and the environment. Bruno Maya, the director for Earth Child Institute, stated at COP28, this is the opportunity to take action for children and young people. Earth Child Institute has a mission of empowering children and young people around the world. We are working uh, with youth-led organizations, NGOs, schools, community-based groups across the world, especially in Africa, Latin America, Asia, and also Pacific. Eric Hensel, the founder of the Scoop Vest, is pleased to be working with Earth Trial Institute on how to be innovative with children and young people to be sustainable. In this case, creating video games to help them understand what climate change is all about. And I'm the newest board member of Earth Child Institute. And our founder, uh, Donna Goodman, also created games. And she did that for about 30 years with the UN and with UNICEF. And now I create uh, video games. And um, we're creating one now around oil spills where we'll use Web3 technology and NFTs so that as the oil spills are cleaned up in the game, we'll work with uh, NGO partners to clean them up in the real world using the in-game monetization. We're starting to work also with the country of the Maldives on building a, a gamified digital twin environment. And we work with some other researchers like a manta ray researcher and uh, some whale researchers. It's really an honor for me to get to pick up where Donna left off. She did amazing work developing games around water. And uh, now Earth Child is nice enough to move past fresh water and into all water so that uh, the work that we do can be seen as well. Kids are naturally curious and natural explorers. And they want to understand this stuff. And they want to take care of the planet. And they, uh, unlike grown-ups, think with their hearts versus their wallets. And this is something that's really important to Earth Child for a long time. And it's important to me. And I'm happy that I'm now a part of Earth Child. At COP28, Earth Child Institute is reaching out to young people in the Pacific, Asia, and Africa to create opportunities for sustainable living. First, uh, we connect with them and offer the opportunities for them in terms of tools, materials, resources and small grants so then they can implement their projects on the ground because they know better than anybody the local realities, the local issues. We know that the impacts of climate change on the Pacific Islands are very important, it's a big issue even though the communities there are not the ones responsible for the climate change. They are producing and impacting and having it, they are responsible only for a few percent of the emissions but are suffering from uh, the impacts of climate change. So we provide an opportunity for these children on the ground to work with uh, for the youth-led community, youth-led organizations or community-based groups who work with children on the ground uh, about climate change, about water, oceans, everything. And then we uh, we have an application process that they could apply. I recommend them to enter in the website of the earthchildinstitute.org so then they will be able to learn more about our work and then they will see also that we are in 25 countries now and looking forward to work more with the Pacific Islands, with the communities, with the young people, with children working together collaboratively. We really believe this is the best way to move forward for a sustainable planet. Earth Child Institute is helping to build resilient and environmentally sustainable world through their commitment to children and young people. Siniva Kasimani reporting for Pacifica TV at the COP28, Dubai.